Hey, everybody. Mark Lewis here. Thanks so much for joining me on the Finance Rebellion. Today, we're going to talk about why we shouldn't necessarily trust bald-faced our CPAs or our ESQs, our attorneys. Most of these people have had a pretty good education and had a pretty strong amount of testing. I mean, the CPA exams, three solid days. Brutal. And so they definitely have a, a lot of knowledge, but a lot of knowledge about what? Look, a general practitioner doctor also has a lot of knowledge, but if you went to them and presented with a coronary issue, they're just gonna prescribe to you what they know, which is pain meds and antibiotics and send you on your way, call me in the morning. That's not what we want. We wanna go to a specialist, and there's only one kind of tax specialist on the United States, and that is not a CPA. It's an enrolled agent. But those people are very, very hard to find, and none of them have expertise in estate planning or tax planning, for that matter. In fact, there are very, very few people at all that understand how to create tax reduction, asset protection, and legacy preservation. Now, I happen to be one, not to toot my own horn, but the reason we don't trust those CPAs and uh, ESQs, the attorneys, is because their primary job, folks, is to bill you and to keep the structure, the system of law or finance in play. Long before they're going to help you, they're there to help themselves and to bill you. In fact, in my enrolled agent training, there's clauses in the education that the IRS says, please don't allow your clients to take certain deductions if it requires them to do X, Y, and Z. Even if you're eligible for those deductions, me as an enrolled agent, I'm not allowed to tell you about them. That's what the IRS would say. Now, of course I will because I don't care. Uh, but in this case, we wanna always have a second opinion. If, somebody, if some Western doctor told you, hey, you've got cancer, you wouldn't just jump into the uh, chemotherapy booth you or take the chemotherapy meds, you would get a second opinion. Ideally, hopefully, I pray, from somebody holistic to give you a radically different idea. And you can consider me your holistic doctor to say, hey, financially, asset protection, legacy preservation, tax reduction, let's take a look at this from an out-of-the-box perspective. And that's one of the things that I provide in my consulting hours, which you can find on the link below and in the description if you got the email as well. And for an hour, I will do my very best to bring uh, my pretty wild and deep experience to your situation in whatever I can. And any of the money that you spend on this consulting hour, I deduct off of the asset protection program where we work one-on-one -on -one to build your own structure. The consult hour is bookable directly on my calendar. So if you want to drop yourself in, please do so. You don't need to go through any special uh, kind of forms or anything like that. As long as it's something that I can talk to you about, please don't call me about whole life annuity or uh, index universal life. I, I'm, not able, I'm not an insurance broker. I can't talk to you about that. I mean, I'll tell you what I've done, but that's about all I can do. Um, and as long as I have expertise in that, I will definitely uh, connect with you and we'll get some things done. If not, then I'll just refund you and hopefully I'll have some resources elsewhere to send you. So hopefully this has been valuable to you. Uh, if so, reach out. I'd love to have you in one of them consult hours and see what we can do. If not, let's uh, connect on one of my lives Tuesday through Friday, where I'm live on Instagram, Mark's Money Secrets at 6 p.m. Pacific. And uh, of course, Mark's Money Secrets is my social handle on any of my social media. Looking forward to seeing you there.